A great morning to everyone. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudzi, your instructor for the Rated Certified Systems Administrator course. This is module 1.5 of the video course. In this demonstration, I will show you how to configure YAM repository inside GNS3. Listed here is option, two options, so I have option 1 and option 2. Before you can perform any of these options, please make sure that you have your Rated uh, installation DVD inserted into your CD DVD ROM. Option 1, which I did try but it did not work in GNS3, requires you to copy all the contacts into the local um, into the local file system. The first location is the uh, Apache directory and the second location is the FTP. Depending which protocol you like to use, uh, you can choose any one of these. Once, once you have uh, in, copied all the contacts into the local file system, you can proceed to step two. If your system crashes, like on mine, it crashed whilst I was copying the DVD contact, please go to option two. If, if you manage to copy all the contacts using uh, option one, you can proceed to step two, which is this. So in option 2, uh, which worked perfectly in GNS3, I had to mount the DVD onto the local uh, file system. In this case, I will use the Apache directory, which is this forward slash file, forward slash www, forward slash html, forward slash DVD. And please make sure that the DVD is mounted at good time. And in this case, I use the cron job instead of the FS tech file. I will explain later why I prefer to use the cron job over FS tech file. Now, if you manage to copy the contacts using option, option 1, or you decided to use option 2, then we can proceed. Uh, yeah. So, in step number 2, after copying all the contacts or mounting the DVD, you can create the file etc uh, forward slash yam dot repos and I'm gonna name this file as test dot repo and make sure that this file has got an extension of dot repo. If you are using CentOS 7, there might be repos uh, pre-configured. You, you will have to delete those files. In step number three, once we name that file, we will, we will include these uh, lines inside the file. The first line is the name of the repo. Um, the second line is the name of the repo in hum, uh, human readable format. The third line is the base URL. In this case, I'm using a file system. In the client, in the client system, this line could read as HTTP, um, colon double colon uh, forward slash forward slash and then the address of the app of the web server if you are using ftp this will read as base url equals to ftp double colon forward slash forward slash and the address of the ftp server in the next line it reads gpg check equals to zero we are disabling the gpg check the last line reads enable equals to one this line is optional in step number four you have to refresh the yam catch by using the command um, yam clean on after that you can now install the http of ftp services and then you have to enable the http or the ftp services and make sure you allow the HTTP or FTP service through the firewall. And furthermore, I'd like to explain why I prefer to use cron job instead of the, F, uh, the F, FS tab file. In this particular uh, task or demonstration, um, the cron job is better than FSTP because you want to avoid system fail at boot time. If you misconfigure your FS tab file, for example, if you miss, you made a typo, 
or you're missing uh, entries in the FS step pipe, the system won't boot and it will run into errors. Once the system runs into errors, it will boot into single mode. We need to avoid that by using the cron tab. So, although the FS tab has many advantages over cron tab, this is the only time when the cron job is better than the FS tab. Let's go to JNS3 and start configuring. In JNS3, select your template and right click, select configure template, go to um, CD DVD, make sure you choose the right ISO, go to advanced settings, make sure you uncheck uh, use as linked base VM. Make sure this part is unchecked. Click OK. Select the template. Drag and drop template. And start the template. Double click to gain console. The system is booting. The system is booting. Now I can log on. As I log in, um, the DVD has been automatically mounted. Okay, that is not a problem. Anyway, let's start the console. Open in terminal. Okay, let me become root. Get the directory away. Um, first of all, I need to make sure that I create the mount point. So that would be make make day. My mount point is forward forward slash far forward slash www forward slash html forward slash dvd and then I need to create a cron job that will be cron tab dash e which means edit then I need cron that will be at reboot I would like you to mount uh, the block device which is sr0 that's my DVD ROM and I'd like you to mount it to var slash www for slash html for slash DVD now I can save and quit basically I'm saying at every reboot please make sure that you mount my DVD ROM, which is uh, forward slash device forward slash SR0, and I'd like you to mount into the Apache directory. And I've created a custom directory DVD. Now I can save and quit. Now, the only thing I need to do is before I start doing the YAM configurations, let me reboot to make sure that my changes are active. So I want to make sure that when the system reboots, it doesn't mount the DVD as seen here. It must mount into my um, into my custom directory, which is this one here. It must mount right here. So let me reboot the system. system.
game is rebooted now i can log on okay as you can see that we no longer have the dvd icon right here so which means our configurations are working the dvd should be automatically be mounted into the custom apache directory so let me start the console and confirm the changes okay let me become root and let's find out where our dvd has been mounted so that will be mount and grip pipe our results to grip sr0 0, zero. Now it's working. Enter. So the DVD has been mounted on, as you can see there. And to confirm, you can also check the contents of the directory that will be var slash HTML DVD. So we have our contents mounted there. So let's proceed to the next step. The next step is to create the file. Uh, before you create the file, please make sure that previously configured YAM or the YAM configurations, please delete them or remove them. Because uh, if the YAM repository is unreachable, it causes errors. So you, you go to etc. Uh, sorry. You go to etc yam dot repost so make sure that you remove any um, previously configured yam so at the moment i have nothing so i can create one so i'll create one and i'll call it test uh, dot repo and please make sure that the extension is dot repo now i can include those configuration lines so the first line is the name of the repo the second line is the name of the repo in um, human readable format so name is test repo and the third line is the base url and i'm using local file system third line is gpg check and i need to disable that since i'm using my local repo and the last line is optional which is enable cost to one so let's double check uh, line one is the name of the repo line two is the name of the repo in human readable format line three is the base url and i'm using the file system line 4 is gpg check you have to disable that if you are using custom repo and line 5 which is optional as well you can it reads enable equals to one so i can save and exit now i have to um, refresh my yam cache so that would be yam clean all okay now the next thing is to see if your yam is working that will be yam repo list okay the yam is working as you can see here the, uh, there is 4323 uh, packages in this repository and the name of the repository is test and as you can see um, it's working um, once it's working we can install um, HTTP, the Apache services, and in this case, I think they are already installed. So I can do yum install HTTPD. I would like also to install the very secure FTP. So it is F VS FTPD, and 
please say yes okay these packages are already installed as you can see here HTTP is already installed and very secure FTP is already installed the next thing is to allow HTTP or uh, FTP on the firewall in this case I'll be using HTTP so that will be firewall uh, CMD uh, firewall CMD add service service equals to HTTP and please make the changes permanent okay firewall CMD reload firewall CMD scroll down to services you can see that we have HTTP um, included in the firewall exception the next thing is to start and enable HTTP so that will be uh, system CTL enable is to start the Apache service the next thing is to see if the service is running okay everything is working as normal and basically this is how you you configure your YAM repository inside uh, GNS3 after configuring make sure your YAM repo is working on the local server once it's working make sure you have Apache services or FTP services installed enable the services start the services include the services on the firewall exceptions and once it's done you can shut down the appliance and I'll show you what you need to do later on okay you can exit here and you can shut down the appliance by right click and say stop once the appliance is shut down you go back right here you right click a uh, configure template go to advanced settings now you can check use as link based VM so which means all the future uh, topology which you configure using this appliance they will have yam repo uh, configured already so you can delete this you don't need that so basically this is how you can configure your yam repository and i would like to thank you for watching i hope this has been informative goodbye for now